Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. <laughs> Hope your five senses work. Hope your health and strength is good. What's up, Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion. What's good? <laughs> Steam Deck Mob, what's up? And the Steam Deck Squad. <laughs> so, NVIDIA wants... NVIDIA wants to inf improve the GeForce now on the Steam Deck with street with streaming. Yeah. 2023 is going to be a good year for the Steam Deck. Okay? NVIDIA and Valve is working together right now with GeForce Now and the Steam Deck and streaming. Listen to this. NVIDIA and Valve wants to make GeForce Now better on Steam Deck. Hmm. But we don't have any announcement on a native app coming to Steam, says GeForce Now boss. Hmm. Says here, NVIDIA and Valve have both expressed interest in improving the GeForce Now experience on the Steam Deck. The gaming streaming service already operates on Valve's handheld console. However, it requires users to boot up a browser and controls can be pretty uh, funky. As a result, a native Steam app could be the answer to making streaming experience a whole lot easier on the device. And it says, uh, NVIDIA GeForce Now product manager Andrew Fear has confirmed that both NVIDIA and Steam are were interested in streamlining the GeForce Now experience on the Steam Deck. It says, there is not a native app on Steam Deck today, says Fear. Use a Chromium browser to make it work. I would say that both NVIDIA and Valve I think we're both interested in making GeForce Now on Steam Deck better. And... Uh-oh, just missed that. Uh-oh. Better. But we don't have any announcement on a native app coming to Steam. So basically, uh, Valve is just... Im Valve, they're just improving the, imp the infrastructure on the Steam Deck. That's all this comes down to now. You know, you got a powerful handheld on the market and you're improving the infrastructure, you know, meaning function, fun, functionality and the user, user ability experience. And then um, you're trying to uh, utilize, make, make, uh, make your utilization on your games more better. So Valve and um, NVIDIA, they're busy right now. Uh, working on the, uh, you know, working on GeForce now, and um, making make making it making the experience better on the Steam Deck. So yeah, 2023 is gonna be a good year for the Steam Deck. So GeForce GeForce now, Steam Deck, uh, Valve. Oh yeah. See, when the Steam Deck was first launched. They, um, they open a line of communication with their users to send them feedbacks on what they send them feedbacks on um, on uh, whatever problems they're having with the Steam Deck and what they want to see uh, 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 fix or whatever. But now NVIDIA now is, is stepping up now. So NVIDIA and Valve are talking you know, about improving the user ability and functionality of GeForce now on the Steam Deck. So uh, things are looking pretty good right now in 2023 for the Steam Deck. So uh, Valve and NVIDIA, they're busy, <laughs> so to speak. Anyway, let me continue here. It says the Steam Deck GeForce now experience have its experience. We first tried it out on the console, but it's far from a sleek option. GeForce now works in the browser with the Steam Deck. Tiny screen doesn't necessarily make it for easy navigation. The control schemes too can be awkward given that the deck controls can perform differently in a browser environment. And then, oops, says here, and if you're wondering why you might want to stream onto your Steam Deck, 
It's mainly a consideration for saving battery for accessing un unavailable and demanding games. Uh, streaming uh, massively reduced the workload on the Steam Deck hardware, allowing for the device to run much longer. Uh, similarly, there's no chance of playing The Witcher 3 in full ray trace glory on the Steam Deck without uh, beaming it from the cloud. Fear also suggests that NVIDIA was keen to support r racing wheels on its streaming service, but again, nothing specific to say on that front right now. Says here, uh, NVIDIA just announced a major uplift for top tier of its GeForce Now service. The ultimate tier will offer an RTX 4080 in the clouds for a $20 a month, and then it says 18 per month slash 20 per month. This will bring back, this will bring with it a new 240 hertz competitive gaming mode, ultra wide support, and 4K at 120 FPS. <laughs> So yeah, um, NVIDIA, Valve, yeah, they're, they're going to be busy in 2023, working on some, working on the GeForce now for the Steam Deck, so we're just in January, we got another, we got another, um, 11 months before, uh, before, uh, uh, December, the end of the year hits, so the Steam Deck will be getting a lot more updates, you know? Valve will be improving the Steam Deck. So will be in, so is NVIDIA. And um, you know, um, the Steam Deck is just moving Valve is just maintaining their consistency and staying on top of things with the Steam Deck, you know, and um, go on from there. So yeah. Twenty twenty three is gonna be a good year for the Steam Deck. Then you have um you have AMD. You know, um, you know, with with uh, Jedi uh, Jedi Survivor, that has, that that has a FSR FSR support, so that is going to work good with the Steam Deck. <laughs> and Star Wars fans on the Steam Deck are just counting the days away for that game. <laughs> so, yeah, 2023, man, it's going to be a good year for the Steam Deck. I mean, um, this little handheld is doing um, is doing damage, man. It's doing damage. Doing, doing damage. Doing damage <laughs> in the game industry, huh? And um, the GeForce now is about, it's about um, infrastructure now, improving the infrastructure of the Steam Deck. That's all this comes down to when it's all said and done. Improving the infrastructure of the Steam Deck to make the user experience better. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek playing.